Okay. So, sorry, technical difficulties today. Let me know if you can hear me. Thanks, Donna. Um, just trying to get everything working again. Um, one of my programs wasn't working and it wanted me to reinstall it. So I had to uninstall it, download it, reinstall it, and then um, do some um, updating or little personalization things. But anyway, I'm here. Thank you for joining me. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so late. Um, hi, Betty. Hi, Connie. All right, so we are going to be doing some fun interactive cards today with the horse and sleigh bundle um, and suite, which includes the, um, let's see, I just had a package right here. Let's see, this is the one horse open sleigh designer series paper. It's six by six and it has all these lovely scenes and designs in it and so I'm going to be using it for the horse and sleigh bundle and the trucking along bundle. So I know the um, punch is not currently available for the trucking along bundle but when it is you're going to want to get it in the bundle because it's super cute and I'm sure you've been seeing a ton of um, samples with it and they're really fun and of course the truck is perfect for interactive cards and I thought the sleigh would be too. So I'm going to show you a couple cards um, and then I'm going to show you how um, to make um, an interactive card. So I have a couple cards um, that, um, let's see, let's do the cards for my class first. So these are um, the cards for my class, starting off with this bridge card. So bridge cards are super easy to make and are really fun. They're three-dimensional, but they fold flat for mailing, which is really cool. And I've used that gorgeous paper and I've done a Lost Lagoon background. And then I added the paper on all of the sides to make like a continuous scene. So I have a little trick for that. And then um, I colored uh, the horse and the sleigh and I added this little silver foil for the bottom of the sleigh. So, and some silver trees, cause there are some tree dyes. So that's the first one, it's a bridge card. And then um, the second one is a pull card. So you pull the horse and sleigh along and there's a message sending warmth your way. So just, pretty simple actually not not difficult at all we can like doo -doo 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 -doo, make the horse trot along okay so pull card and then the third card which i think is super fun is a um what you call this spring card boing card spring card <laughs> so i've got these little springs on there and so i have the little scene and i have some die cuts on there and then I've colored the horse and the sleigh, and then here they are trotting along. Okay, so those are the three cards. Um, you can get this card kit for free when you purchase the bundle or place a $50 order using my August host code. Just uh, email me and let me know that you want this specific kit. And I've already gotten a couple orders for it. So I will be working on getting those prepped and ready um, tomorrow. Okay, so now for um, my upcoming team meeting, this is a little uh, surprise, but we're going to make this step card because I thought it would be perfect for a step card. So um, I just again did like a continuous scene here, and then I used some of the copper clay uh, shimmery paper, specialty paper that's in the annual catalog. And then I used uh, some of these um, adhesive back snowflake assortment, which I forgot to say is the raffle prize for this week. So you have um, small and large snowflakes in copper, gold, and white, um, three different designs. And then I just used uh, just your basic rhinestones and I colored them with the copper clay marker to make them look like their copper clay. Cool, huh? Okay, so 
Uh, the raffle from last week was the Fine Sparkle Adhesive Back Gems. And the winner is Sandra Villafane. So congratulations, Sandra. Send me your address so I can send out your prize. And then this week, it is going to be these online exclusive adhesive backed snowflake assortment. And that is when you comment and say hi and share the video you're entered into my raffle. Okay, so I gotta write that down, snowflake. Okay, so now um, the other card that I wanted to show you that's actually um, pretty simple is this card. Um, I modified it from uh, one of the samples that Stampin' Up! made um, and it's got the little bunny and it actually uses the beautiful balloons or the bright and beautiful designer series paper. And I just added some of the die cuts here and stamped a couple trees and just a really pretty simple card. So we did this for my stamp club. Okay, so the last card before I make a card is um, this card right here. And so I wanted to make a couple cards that didn't have the horse and the sleigh in it to show that you can just make any kind of holiday or any kind of card with the horse and sleigh card. So um, this is the paper that has that deer. And this is a diorama card. And then I added the sentiment and some of the snowflakes. And I stamped the trees and stamped the snow. So those are all um, part of the suite. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you um, a horse and sleigh card first, and then we'll move along to the trucking bundle. So let me get all of my pieces here. Kind of got them. One fell down. So this is some of the designer series paper. And since it comes in six by six, I had to use two pieces to uh, get this scene here. So I think these, do these two actually go together or is it these two? Did they get switched? I think it's, no, it's not these two. Uh, doesn't matter. So um, I'm gonna make a Z, a double Z fold card. So I need a scene back here. So this is gonna be my scene. And then I'm going to adhere. Thanks, Joan. Hey, Christine and Sherry. And thanks, Donna. You guys are so nice. So I'm going to add this um, to the card and let's see. It's been a while, so I don't remember my measurements, but I wanna say this is one and seven eighths. And then the length doesn't have to be five. It can actually be um, shorter because we're gonna add this little one and a half inch strip here. So you could just do like a four inch piece of DSP. So, um, and actually you should do that because you're gonna wanna cut off the fence because the, fen the fence is gonna go on the bottom. Boop, it goes this way. So then you have this, um, continuous fence here. And so it looks cool, it looks more 3D. So um, that way when you cut this down to four and you cut off the fence, you're not using four sheets of paper like, like I did. Um, but anyway, so these pieces should be one and seven eighths by four. These two pieces right here. Okay, and then this piece is going to be four by four. So it's just gonna be a square so that you don't, in fact, I should have trimmed them before I laid them down so that I could have used them for another card, but that's okay. Okay, so now that you've got those, you're also going to have this piece of crumb cake, which is eight and a half by one and a half. And you've scored it at four and a quarter. Actually, I score it like this. So I scored it two and an eighth and four and a quarter, but then um, it's gonna um, be attached like this. So the four 
and a quarter part will be on the front. So then you can add these little pieces and these are two, let's see, two inches wide by one, let's see, and three eighths. Yeah, one and three eighths. So I made it tighter on these. So two by, I forgot what I said now, one and three quarters. No, one and three eighths, sorry. Okay. All right, sorry. Okay, so thank you, Carol. I know, well, the paper is what really makes these cards so beautiful, but doesn't that look cool already? Okay, so now you're just going to add adhesive to this last panel here. And then you'll add some to the first panel on the bottom of this card. Make sure you don't go past one and a half inches. And then we're gonna just line this whole thing up with the bottom. Okay. And then when you fold it, it's gonna fold like that. And so it kind of looks continuous here. It really does. It really looks like it's, and then um, on the fence bottom as well. Okay. So now we have our horse and sleigh. So let's stamp our horse and sleigh. So you're gonna need the memento black. I use the memento black so that you can color it. And um, you're gonna want a piece of, I did five and a half by two and a half. Got some markings on there. And then I really like to ink this up a lot. Okay. And then ink a little bit more. More, more, more. Okay. And really add some pressure to that. Okay. And there we go. Looks nice. And then we have lots of markers here. Okay. So for this one, um, we're going to do the slate in misty moonlight to kind of match the background. So I like to start with the dark first. And um, I like to highlight some of the areas that I think would be dark. And so I'm just gonna do a little bit of the pieces on the horse here. Okay. And uh, these are crystal light containers and they are perfect for holding your blends markers. So they're not just sprawled all over the place. Although, you know, that works too. I just like to keep them a little bit contained so that I don't end up with a teeny tiny small workplace. When workspace, I should say, when all of a sudden all of my supplies are everywhere and they're like crowding me in. Okay, so I'm just gonna go over that a little bit more, make that part darker. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the fine tip, finish off these little pieces on the horse, bridle. Go up here a little bit. Okay, so that's the sleigh. And then let's do um, some uh, crumb cake for, our travelers will keep it um, pretty neutral here. So we'll do the Santa hat in tan. We'll do his coat in tan. And we'll just go ahead and do her outfit in the crown cake as well.
I want to know what this shaded space is right here. Does anybody know this space right here? Kind of cross hatched. I've always been curious. I'm not exactly sure what that is. Is that like snowshoes? And is this like a, I don't know what it's called, but you put your hands in it, a muffler to keep your hands warm. I think it's a muffler. Is that what it's called, a muffler? And uh, shout out and thank you to my team member, Connie, for helping me out today with the products that I'm using. Thank you very much, Connie. Okay, so there's our couple. And then I'm gonna do a, is this pecan pie? No, this is pecan pie. I'm gonna do a pecan pie horse. Did I already do a pecan pie horse? Well, I don't think so. I think the other one is copper clay. So I'm gonna do our horse. Pecan pie. So I think that's another color kind of in our DSP. And question for all you horse people out there is this what kind of horse is this? This isn't a Clydesdale, is it? It's got those uh, fringy, that fringy hair near its hooves, but I don't know if that necessarily means it's a Clydesdale. I don't know. Okay. Unravel that. I taped it up during my class because I only wanted my point and used. So now I'm just gonna go back in and fill in, and then I think I'm gonna go back with the dark because I don't feel there's enough contrast that I want here. I'd rather there be a little bit more contrast. So some people start with the light and then they put the dark on, but I like to put the dark on so that I can blend, blend it in together so that in some places, you don't see the lines where the dark stops and the light begins, because that to me is blending. But I also do like to add shadows. And so when I want something to be darker, I'll just go back with, a, with the dark lens and put that in again, use it again. So the horse's hair. What do you guys do? Do you start with the dark or do you start with the light? I'm curious to know. Okay, I like this pecan pie horse. Oh, being terrible coloring. Okay, so go back in and add a little bit more dark in here. Add some dark in here. Okay, there we go. I just love the blends, they are so fun and they make everything look super, super duper. Okay, so that's our blends. And then um, I think I'm gonna go back with the uh, dark. Yeah, you start with the dark as well, Connie. Yeah, that's what I do. Let's see. Okay, and Sherry starts with the dark as well. Yep. Okay, why did I grab boho blue? That's not what I wanted. Is this boho blue? It looks like boho. No, it's light basic black. That's what I wanted. Okay, so I'm just gonna go back in here and color um, this area where it was stamped black. Um, it's not dark enough. I want it to be darker. So you can do that if you feel like when you stamp something, 
the um, black isn't dark enough, you can just use your blends to go back in and you can darken it up and make it look super crisp. Okay, so that's good for the blends. And now I have my mini, I'm calling it the mini boss and my plates. Let's see those plates. And then we have the horse and sleigh dies. So we've got the bottom of that sleigh. We've got these mountain ridges or they, you could turn them into clouds. There's this nice little, what's that called again? Not a spiral. I forgot what that's called. A little fancy filigree, maybe filigree. The tree and then the outline for the bunny, the other trees, and then the horse and sleigh. It's all one die. So we're just going to line it up on here. And it lines up very well. If I can line it up very well. Okay, that looks good. All right, so we're gonna run this through. Don't move. And there's our horse and sleigh. Okay. Yay. Get rid of these other pieces. Okay. So now we can add this to the front of the card here. Yes, it does um, kind of go off the card, but that's okay. We can. Um, have a bigger envelope for it. Now I gotta decide, do I want it above the fence or below? I kind of think above the fence, above the fence, right? Yeah, above the fence. Okay, so it looks like I can put dimensional here, here, and here, and maybe there. So I'm gonna use the mini dimensionals. Those are going to work best. Mini dimensionals. So let's see, like I said, one here. So I'm just doing them on the bottom. One here. And then we'll put some on the horse feet. Okay, and we'll add this kind of on top of the fence area. And I should probably add one right there. So I'm gonna add one right there. And so there we are, we've got our horse trotting along. So now we need to add some fun bling bling things. So let's see, that's the door price. So I have these, so I'm gonna use some of these. So these snowflakes come um, in two sizes and I already cut the top off. So that makes it easier. And so we've got um, the small size and this large size. And so I think the white snowflakes are going to look very pretty on here. So I'm gonna try to find my take your pick tool. There it is. But I actually have two of them. One like has the spatula all ready to go. But I'm not seeing it. Oh, there it is. Okay. See, so I have one with the spatula and the gum ready to go, and the other one with the point and the new wheel ready to go. And the wheel is is fun. You can protect it by pushing up on the little piece right here, and then that way the edge is not exposed. Or you can pull it down, and then the edge will be exposed and ready. But you just have to be careful because it, it's pretty sharp. It's not super, super sharp. It's, it's pretty sharp, pretty, pretty sharp. Okay, and I always keep the point in the case too so I don't stab myself or anybody else. So I'm gonna put this one down here and then there's this medium-sized one that I'm gonna put, you know, I'll put them all down here. Yeah, I should do some higher. Maybe we should do 
I just feel like they get lost up here. So they're it's kind of light on light. So it's fine. We'll make them work. Okay. So I've got my snowflakes on there. I guess I could have done gold too. Should I do gold instead? Can we lift these still? Mm -hmm. I can. I changed my mind a lot. Let's see what gold, ooh, gold looks pretty. Should I do gold? I think I should do gold. And that way I can do them more up here and they'll like really stand out. So I'm going for the gold. <laughs> I'm going with the gold. So I'm gonna put these white ones back. So if you change your mind right away, you can just put them back, right? Okay. So then this one, I'm gonna put kind of down here. And then the small one I can put up here. Pretty. Okay, that stands out much better. Okay, so now I'm gonna get um, some gold pearls or something. I was gonna use rhinestones, but I think I'm gonna do some gold pearls and um, add them to the centers because there's like a little hole in the center. I don't know why it bothers me. <laughs> it does. I want it to um, have the centers. So let me try to remember which um, which um, embellishments. That's what I'm trying to say. Have gold. There's the gold butterflies, but I don't think those are going to work. Oh, we could do these gold sparklies. Those would be cool. Okay. Maybe those, and then, oh, these have gold. Yes. Where did the, I, ha, I had some other ones here. Okay, nope, that's what I wanna do. I have those little gold ones. But I still wanna use these for something. I gotta use them in the next, my next class. So this one has gold. And I thought I just ha saw a package here waiting, waiting for me to use it. So let me kind of move stuff around here and see if I can find it. Oh, there they are. We got covered. Oh, but I don't have any more gold. So good thing I got these out because I already used the gold. So these are the um, festive pearls, um, number one five nine nine six three. Sorry, I didn't give Connie a head up on a heads up on these things. <laughs> Um, but I think it just finishes it, finishes it off really nicely um, when you add something to the center. I think it's really pretty. Okay. All right. So that's the embellishments. And then I want to add a sentiment. And I'm going to do a sentiment inside. So I'm going to, so when you open it up, um, you'll see the sentiment here. Okay, so let's look at this stamp set. We can do sending you a season of cheer. And I guess I can put and a happy new year inside. I think that would be nice. So let's try that. So I've got a whole bunch of scrap papers here. I think I've got a thick one. I need a thick one. And sending warmth your way. No. This is wishing you a season of cheer. And then I think a happy new year is still in here. So much rhyming. And then I need misty moonlight. Yeah, I want to do misty moonlight. And we get a block. Put that on. Hmm. I think it kind of moved. There we go. So I think this one is going to fit on my three quarter inch piece here. So I'll just add that over here. Okay. Very lovely. And then we'll 
stamp this one on this one inch piece here. Okay. And let's do something creative with these. So let's take a look here. Okay. So wishing you a season of cheer. Oh, we could just do the, you know, our typical, oh, it's hiding behind and a new year. So we'll do that. Okay. And um, I'm just going to get my scissors and I'm just going to snip off um, the sides at a, a little angle here just to make it more interesting. Okay. So wishing you a season of cheer. Let's go ahead and cut this one like at the same angle here. Let it go. This one kind of at the same angle. Okay, and a happy new year. So we'll start with the happy new year and we'll put that on some dimensionals. And we'll put this on the inside. And then we'll do this one. We're only gonna put one dimensional on so that we don't accidentally shut the card closed. So this one will just kind of be hanging loose. And so here is our fun horse and sleigh Z fold card. Yay, I love it, so pretty. Okay, now let's do the really fun trucking bundle. So here's trucking along and here's the punch. And uh, here are a couple cards that I made for my stamp club. So this is like a sunny day one. And then when you pull the car, a little message appears sending you sunny thoughts. Not cute. Okay, super, super cute. And then, thank you. Um, oh, that's true. Snowflakes are flat for mailing. Sorry, I was just reading that. Okay. Um, so this one, um, I just, Went ahead and freehand cut a little hill here and use some of the DSP. And I stamped some of the trees from the horse and sleigh. I feel like the horse and sleigh goes really well with this bundle as well. And some of these little snow drifts. And then when you pull the little car, do, do, do. <laughs> he's kind of free floating. Um, there's a little message there. Wishing you a festive Christmas. So lots of fun, interactive things you can do with the trucking along bundle. So I'm going to, we're going to do a card with this bundle and I'm going to start with the truck itself. So here's the truck and we're going to stamp it in blueberry bushel. That'd be fun to do a blue truck. So I have this little piece. I want to say it's two inches. Where is my measuring? Yeah, uh, no, it's one and three quarters um, by four and a quarter. We're not going to need the whole four and a quarter. I'm going to start with the outline. So I'm just going to stamp the outline. So there's our truck super cute. And then I'm going to fill it in with this stamp or you could color it. Um, I'm just going to get a scrap piece of paper ready down here because I'm going to stamp off. So stamping off to get a lighter color. And then we're going to stamp it right on there. 
Yay, that looks so good. And then I'm just going to use the um, light uh, basic black marker and I'm gonna go ahead and do the tires here. I'm gonna color those in. There is a stamp to stamp it in, but I am terrible at lining it up, terrible. So I'm just gonna color it in. But if you're good at lining up stamps, you can use the stamp. Okay, so here's our cute little truck. And we're gonna punch it out. So the punch also has a wheel and some of the windows and the fenders as well. So that's really fun because you could stamp, if you wanted to, you could stamp this three time. Oh no, the fenders look different. I thought they would be the same. Okay, so maybe it's for if you're just building a separate truck and not a stamp truck. Okay, so punch that out. And then we've got our truck. And then um, we are going to use, well, I shouldn't have done blueberry bushel if I want to use some of this paper, but I'm gonna go for it. Okay. So that was for that. I wanted to use some of this paper. I thought this paper was really um, fun. It's the wood grain paper um, from this stamp set. And then I like this paper too with this color. Okay. So we're gonna add this onto a uh, Whisper White card base here. So I'm gonna try Rim both of these down. Um, there's my trimmer. And I really want to use this ribbon that's a part of it. Maybe I should do red instead so I can use the ribbon. So let me change it out to red. Oh, no, I don't want to use this piece because I'm going to use this piece for the step card. Okay, let's find another red. <laughs> A different red, maybe this red, but it looks like I've already used all this paper. I just love paper and I do use it. Oh yeah, it was this paper. Oh, I don't like it when they put two beautiful papers on the same side. Oh, there's this paper too. Hmm. Choices, choices. Ooh, that's kind of cool too. Hmm. She says as she changes the whole card. That happens sometimes, right? Okay, so we're gonna do that. And that, what, what color? We're just still gonna do the white. And maybe I could put this away. And um, then we're gonna do some white on the bottom. So I changed my whole idea here. Oh, sorry, Red Ribbon, you're so pretty. Let's just tie a bow with you just for fun. Cause you're so pretty and I want to use you. Maybe we'll add it to our other card for our class. So this is my little bow tying helper. And I created a video on YouTube showing you how I use it to tie a bow and also how to create your own. So you can check that out on YouTube. So I'm just going to put this through and then I need to twist. Okay, I'm gonna twist this this way and twist this this way because I want um, all the gold polka dots to be on the front. It's harder to do when you have um, basically like one-sided ribbon, okay? But it is doable. Look at that, we have a pretty, pretty bow. Okay. And so I think I might be able to put it on this card, right? Somehow, <laughs> I'm gonna come up with the card just to use this bow. Okay, back to our truck that is trucking along here in the snow. I think I'm gonna do it 
this way. Yep. And then we need some snow. So I'm going to use, okay, here we go. So here's a five and a half um, by, I want to say two and a half. Yes. And I'm just going to cut the top off myself. into like a snowscape here. And then we've got the truck and the truck has to go the other way. So I cannot use that. Darn, darn, darn. It's okay. I will figure it out. So we're gonna make this five and a half. So I just need to trim a half off of it. Don't throw that half away. <laughs> you can use it for something, right? I don't like throwing away things. Okay, so um, we've already done a reveal and we've done a pull card. So let me get some white or I think blueberry bushel will be too much. Let me get some white and then maybe some gray. I think some gray might be nice like some smoky slate. And then I'm gonna have to cut this in half. I didn't think I was gonna go this way. So we've got some paper. Okay, we've got some paper. Okay. And then this is basically going to be covering the whole, pretty much the whole card this time. That cute blue truck. Okay, so now we need some trees. I'm going to use this, I really like this tree, from the horse and sleigh. And um, the truck um, bundle has this um, like shadow for the truck. But I actually really like um, the snow drifts from the horse and sleigh. And I'm going to use a different sentiment from the Hope and Peace stamp set that is also online only. And it has this lovely Merry Christmas. So I'm going to be using that. Okay, so we're going to do smoky slates and we're going to do some maybe very light blueberry bushel. Very, very light. Stamp off. So we'll start with smoky slates and um, we'll do um, our trees, some of our trees. Okay. So let me get my scrap paper and then I can stamp the trees. Okay. So let's see, full strength. And then, no, I think I do want to do the full strength one. And then do like a little half strength one. Okay, that looks really nice. Okay, so now we can bring back our card. This is going to go on here. Now let's do our little snow drifts, also in the gray. I wonder what it looks like in the blue. I might do it in the blue. I'll just do it in the gray. I'm not sure. Okay, so there's all of our snow drifts. And then we will stamp our sentiment. Ooh, I've got, I've got stuff on it. Okay, I want to see if it'll fit. I don't think it'll fit on there. 
It might, but I did not cut that well. So I'm just going to test it out. Yeah, it'll fit. Okay. All right. Got our pieces. And then where? Okay. So my trick to some of these interactive cards is using little pieces of window sheets. Um, that's what allows them to move around. Maybe I should just go ahead and do just a really cut off like the tiniest little bit. Okay, yeah, I, I like a little bit of the white edge showing here. Okay, so we're going to put this on top. Okay, and then another trick is to add a slit um, on the back. So for this one, I'm going to do just a little slit um, down there, and then we'll have the Merry Christmas or something like that. So you're going to need um, a strip of, I like to use um, thick whisper white. I'm sorry, thick basic white. Still used to saying whisper white. Um, to pull, because just because you're pulling it a lot too. And then um, we're going to use the cutting trimmer and we're just gonna put this in the middle so this would be two and a half so the middle would be like one and a quarter actually I want it to be lower so I'm gonna put that at one okay and we're gonna start over here whoops I just moved it we're gonna start over here at one right there and we're gonna bring it to four, oh, four and a quarter. Okay, so there's one inch left on either side. Okay, and then what we're gonna do, we're gonna have this on the one side of the cut, and we're gonna have our pull, excuse me, on the other side. And uh, basically, let's see, how did I do this? I'm gonna use um, the window sheet and I'm gonna tuck um, half of it um, and I'm going to adhere half of it to the truck and half of it to the slider. Um, so let me make sure this isn't too um, long, it's a little bit too long. So I'm gonna trim it to here and then I'll measure, whoops, and then I'll measure it and tell you what the measurement is. Okay, and measure it. So this is, wow, two inches on the dot. Okay, so I'm just going to put it through halfway here. And I'm gonna use, um, have this uh, red liner tape. And I'm gonna use this red liner tape. It's just super sticky and um, nice and thin. So it's just easy to adhere. Oops, that's way longer than two inches. Huh. And I'm just gonna put this on top here. And then I'll peel this off. 
and then straighten it up a little bit. Push it down a little bit. And we're going to add the car. Oh, I should, maybe I should have done dimensionals. Mm. Now I want to see if I can do dimensionals. So I'd like to give it a little bit of action. See, I change it up a lot. Uh-oh. Okay, I think that'll look really cool. Okay, so there's our truck. Ding, ding, ding. Ready to go. And then this side can have the red liner tape. Does not need to be popped up on this side. Okay, so there's that. And then I have a hard time getting this to ease up off of me. Okay, and then this is gonna be our pole. So I like to punch the end and create a little um, indication it's a pole. So I'm gonna punch it with the pick a punch banner punch. So the banners pick a punch. And then um, I'm going to attach this to the card like so. And then I think I am gonna add some dimensionals to this side too. Okay, so there's our pole. And then now I'm gonna do I want to do, I don't want to do the foam adhesive strips because they are really tall. And um, so I'm just going to do some mini dimensionals here. Um, here. And then we can use some regular dimensionals over here. Lots of dimensions. And then we'll do a mini over here. Do you guys like doing interactive cards? I love interactive cards. I think they are super duper fun. Okay, so now we can put this on the bottom here. And it goes all the way across. And um, I guess if you wanted to, you could put your message on there, but it would be pretty short because I didn't let it go all the way. But there's your sliding car right there. And then if you wanted it to slide further, you could um, do the window sheet smaller so the car could go further and it could this out more but this time I just wanted it to just be the car moving back and forth oh and I forgot to put something in it I need to put like a tree or something in it and then Merry Christmas and some kind of bow so do we have misty moonlight bow I know I know the red bow just kidding that doesn't work um oh we do have some really nice new white ribbon from the mini catalog. So I'm going to tease you and use some of this sparkly white ribbon um, from the new mini catalog. I got my pre-order and it's so much fun. I can't wait to start using some of the products. I am going to use my little bow tie helper, bow helper.
And this one, I need to try that again. Um, I didn't really cut that correct. Okay, let me sneak that through there. Luckily, the ribbon is the same on both sides. Super cute. I bet I could color this too with um, blends, and then you can make it whatever color you want. So I will probably be doing that. And then I'm going to stamp the Merry Christmas again because I want it to look nice. There we go. And of course, that will be on dimensions. Okay, and I usually don't do diagonals, but I feel like it would be good here. And then we'll add this with a glue dot. So Merry Christmas right there. And there is our trucking along card. Do, do, do. Oh, and we should add something here. So let's look at the, there's the Christmas tree. And um, let's see, where did my stamp set go? Here's the hope. And here's the horse and sleigh. Oh boy, <laughs> I had it right here. I found the punch. So um, I think there's like a tree and um, there's flowers and what else can you put in the, oh, there's a palm tree. So I would probably do um, the Christmas tree and just put the Christmas tree in there. But I will leave it at that. So thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope that you really liked um, seeing these interactive cards with the Trucking Along bundle. And uh, here's the three interactive cards for that. And so um, I am also making this a class. And so this one is going to be different. It's going to be three cards for just a $35 order. So if you place a $35 order using my August host code, um, just email me also and request um, this trucking along class. And um, I can punch the truck. I can't stamp it, um, but I will punch the truck out in white for you. Um, I'll go ahead and do six so that you've got two tries um, for each truck. Um, if you don't already have the truck punch um, or if you're waiting for it. And then um, for my other class, I am doing my typical six cards. So you'll receive um, supplies for um, this fun card. This has the, those little, what do you call it? Boing, I don't know what to call them, pieces. And then this is a bridge card. And then um, this is a pull card. And so this is going to be supplies for six cards to each of these three designs. And then um, that's if you place a $50 order or um, purchase this bundle, the horse and sleigh bundle. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry about the technical difficulties at the beginning. And um, just I kind of ran out of time to prepare myself. Um, as in put, it up, put on makeup. <laughs> so that's why you just see my hands today. Wobbles. Thanks, Carol. Wobbles. Um, but next week, I will be using the uh, Timeless Charm, which is right over here, bundle, which is really, really pretty and has kind of this watercolory soft look. And I will be using the In Colors to go with it. And this may or may not be the um, raffle prize for next week. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Um, 
That will be next Tuesday, the 15th. And again, I'm working hard to get the Mexico trip. So I really appreciate any orders you could place. Um, don't forget that there is a kit sale right now. All the kits are up to 30% off. So it's a really great time to stock up on kits for yourself or as gifts for friends. And then I have these two card classes this week that you can choose from. This one's six cards, this one's three cards um, that you can choose. And um, when you place an order, you can get for free. So thank you and I will see you guys uh, next week.